I'm gonna be doing another Topic Wednesday because I love doing Topic Wednesdays and I do them mostly every Wednesday now. I have a whole bunch of topics coming up in the future. Like all the Wednesdays. I think till like the end of this month. So stay tuned for those because I enjoy doing them. So today's, this week, we are gonna be talking about, this Topic Wednesday is gonna be, um, what was it again? Mental health. So like how to deal with it and yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be talking about. It's how to deal with mental health. So let's get in. Okay guys, before I start talking about this, I just wanna say that I do not deal with mental health. So I'm not the greatest with this, but I just want to experience what I've seen, what I know about mental health, about other people having it, and about hearing about it and stuff like that. Cause I have heard stories of other people having mental health and just people dealing with it. So I know somewhat about it, but I don't deal with it myself. So I just wanted to say that. So it's not coming from what I've experienced, it's coming from what other people experienced. So yeah. So yeah. Okay, so let's get into this. The first thing I would say about mental health is spending time alone. It's a very good thing to do sometimes. Because sometimes you can just get like too stressed and too, like some people can just cause too much stress in your life. And I'm not saying you don't like those people. You can love the person. You can be dating the person. They can be your best friend. But you can still need some time alone from them. And just need some time away. And sometimes you might need to break a break from that person. You might need to break up with that person to realize that you really need that person in your life. Because I know there's been people that I've experienced who've dealt with that before. Because they just haven't loved themselves enough. And another thing is to like let down. This is sort of about mental health and stress all in one. And another thing is just listen to music. Like listening to calm, nice music can help a lot too. And sometimes spending the time with the person you love the most will help you too. And just people giving, telling you that you're loved and just to know that you are loved and there are people in your life that can help you. And like talking to people too. Talking to your family, talking to your significant other, your best friend, just your friends in general, talking to a counselor. Talking to anybody, there's literally always people to talk to about this. If you ever are having problems, or you just don't really feel, you know, if you never feel want, like never don't, never feel like you're not wanted because you always are wanted. Everybody in this world is wanted. Don't ever feel like you're not wanted. There's always people who will love you, even if it's just one person. That one person will still love you a lot. I don't care what you say if you say, oh, you don't really have family because they don't care about you. They never do anything with you. Oh, I don't have friends because blah, blah, blah. There's still people. There's still counselors. There's still this. There's that. And that's their part of their job. To help people who don't have people in their life or maybe need someone else because they're not the greatest people to go to. To help you with anything you were going through. And another really, really nice thing to do is just get off social media. Because sometimes social media can cause so much mental health issues and stress and anxiety and sometimes even depression i mean i'm not saying it's all that bad but it can be really bad especially when you're going through that phase where you're like really not feeling yourself or you're really having a lot of problems with your mental health so sometimes you just need to get off social media get off your devices go outside take a walk go into nature just enjoy going outside just to make let it go do sports go on a hike Go, I don't even know, go swimming, go to a pool. Just do something like that because those things can help a lot. I swear to God, taking a break from social media and going out to do those things can really, really help. But I'm not saying never come back to social media. I'm not saying that. Like I know our day and age, we're obsessed with those things. But sometimes those things can cause mental health and can just be very bad for you and very toxic. Not saying I've ever dealt with that because like I said, in the beginning of this video, I do not deal with mental health. I'm a very positive, happy, loving person that usually never gets sad or depressed or anything like that. But for people who do, just remember there are always are people in your life and you can always take a break from things like social media and stuff like that and take breaks from people too. Even if you love the person a lot, still sometimes it's nice to spend time by yourself just finding who you are, truly just finding things you love to do and then maybe you can realize you need that person or realize that person wasn't meant to be in your life. Because sometimes you just need to do that because spending time with someone, no matter who it is, can get stressful and annoying and just cause anxiety just because you've been with them so much that you just sometimes need time by yourself. Because even I have dealt with that before. Everybody deals with that. Everybody deals with that. No matter if you're a best friend or not, you still sometimes need time by yourself just to, you know, do things by yourself and just, you know. I swear, there's nobody in this world who's never wanted to just be by themselves. There's nobody. 
even if you don't deal with the mental health like me you still want time alone just because it's nice to just you know be by yourself sometimes and just think about things and live life so yeah hopefully this helped if you guys enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up comment down below if you guys deal with mental health if you do how do you guys deal with it what do you guys do what's your number one tip to help people with mental health issues and yeah also another thing is get a lot of sleep too don't stay up too late and don't sleep in too late because getting a good um, sleep schedule can help a lot too working out can help and eating healthy like all those things just working with yourself make yourself a better person and just you know all the things so yeah subscribe to come and subscribe to this